on behalf of William and Mary in the Commonwealth of Virginia, a hail and hearty welcome to all our faculty, staff, students, contractors, vendors, and guests. Whether you are accessing this video from your home, residence hall, office, or quarters, we hope that the next few minutes will help ensure our common health, regardless of where you live, work, study, or serve. More importantly, and because of recent medical advances, the university reminds us that even fully vaccinated individuals must adhere to the standards set forth by the university, the Commonwealth of Virginia, and the federal government. This video highlights our basic hygiene practices and reminds us how to uphold our community standards both around the corner and around the world. Our contributions to the shared responsibility ideal are committing ourselves to these healthful behaviors, applying them daily at the university, at home, and in our other activities anywhere in the world, and acting with courage as we help others, and assuming goodwill when we accept the help ourselves, whenever and wherever the facts, skills, and commitment to change are lacking. If or when this commitment or these steps become challenging, please visit www.wm.edu forward slash path forward. Let's look at three basic ways that we can guarantee an even healthier spring, summer, and fall. In the simplest of terms, we can wear appropriate face coverings, wash and sanitize hands and common services, withdraw from others physically. No matter how we name them or how casual or professional they might appear to others, face coverings are most effective when they have at least three layers and no valves, remain free from moisture and dirt, and fit snugly and comfortably over the nose, mouth, and chin. As of January 2021, an N95 mask still remains the gold standard for preventing transmission of the virus that causes COVID-19. While wearing your mask, please avoid touching the eyes, nose, and mouth. Wash and sanitize your hands anytime you touch your mask, whether you're putting one on, taking one off, or holding it in place. After removing your mask, store it in a plastic bag that you can sanitize if you plan to rewear your mask that same day. Wash cloth masks nightly if you wear them often throughout the day. Medical masks can go in a suitable trash bin. One quick note on medical masks. If possible and affordable, please reserve these masks for healthcare providers to prevent potential shortages in the future. If you need to cough or sneeze, remove your mask and cover your mouth and nose with a tissue. If a tissue is not available, please cough or sneeze into the crook of your elbow. Always wash and sanitize your hands after you cough or sneeze. Washing removes dirt and grime, while sanitizing removes harmful microbes that can make us ill. Hand washing, when we do it properly, can help curb the spread of the virus that causes COVID-19. To do so effectively, please remove all rings and jewelry if you feel that the area around you is secure. Wet your hands with safe running water of any temperature and then turn off the tap. Apply soap to your hands. Any soap will do as long as you're not allergic to it. Lather your hands by rubbing them together making sure that you clean the backs of your hands, the areas between your fingers, and under your nails. This will require at least 20 seconds. Rinse your hands under clean running water. If the faucet is not touchless, please use your elbow to turn the water off. Finally, dry your hands with a clean towel, or you can air dry them. Only when soap and clean water are not available should you rely on a hand sanitizer that is at least 60% alcohol by volume. Continue working the sanitizer into your hands until all the sanitizer has evaporated. This too will require about 20 seconds or more. 
It is also important to keep common surfaces, including doorknobs and desktops, sanitized at all times. In your classrooms, offices, and the B. McLeod Recreation Center, you will find sanitizing wipes, or perhaps spray bottles and paper towels, for your use when you arrive and leave a common space. Wipe the entire surface with the product and allow enough time for the chemicals to take effect. This varies from product to product according to its label. If there is no sanitizer available, or in an environment where specific cleaning and sanitizing protocols exist, please notify or warn others. This could be the reception desk at the entrance to a building, a nearby worker, or a person about to use an unsanitized area. For instance, in campus dining, you can turn the table card to red to signify to others that the vacated area still needs to be cleaned and sanitized. As mentioned in previous videos, cleaning computer keyboards can be difficult and in some cases, technologically unwise. So the university recommends silicone keypad covers to make sanitizing simpler and safer for your device. Staying connected socially is important for your emotional well-being during the pandemic, and staying apart physically stops germs from spreading to you or from you. The World Health Organization encourages us to be aware of the most harmful environmental conditions to avoid, namely those that are close, closed, and crowded. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention define a close contact as 15 minutes, be it all at once or accumulated over the course of a day with an infected person at a distance of six feet or less, even when both parties are masked. Or, direct contact with respiratory secretions from a person infected with the virus that causes COVID-19. As part of withdrawing from others, we encourage you to work and study when you are well and to self-isolate or follow quarantine instructions when you are not. By the way, when you see a temperature kiosk or when somebody asks to take your temperature, they are offering this service to help both them and you make an educated decision about your acceptable level of participation. Finally, as science continues to inform us, as case numbers rise and fall, as vaccines become more readily available, our policies and procedures may change over the coming months. The university will continue to update you with those modifications through various communications, including the Healthy Together app, where members of our community check in daily. Regardless of where we are in the world right now, various cultures view spring as a time of new growth and celebration. Just as our dashboard shows how successful our commitment to community responsibility has been, we look forward to working together in 2021 as we continue our path forward so that we can all stay healthy together.